Hello friends, welcome to BM classes. Today we will discuss how to create a solid journal bearing in AutoCAD. So at first I would like to show you what is solid journal bearing. So friends, this is solid journal bearing you can see on the screen. So today we will create this on AutoCAD 2007. So friend, let's start the AutoCAD software. So at first I will choose the front view and after that I will make a line of 125 length. So I will put the ortho on and after that I will enter 125. So this and after that I will put 15. Now I will click on that point and after that that point. So now we have this structure and after that I will repeat the line and after that I will click on the middle and enter 30. So so after entering 30 so I have that line then I will choose the circle and make a circle of diameter. 25 so I press D and after that enter and put the dia 25 and press enter so now I have this and again I will repeat the circle and after that make another circle of radius 25 so now I have this structure and after that I will choose the trim and then press enter and I will trim that part that part that part that part and press ESC and after that I will select this line and press delete so now I have that structure so now I have to do extrude so friends before that I have to set the boundary so I will create the boundary for boundary creation I will press B and O and press enter so now you can see on the screen that peak points is there so I will select that and after that I will click between the circles and press enter. Now you can see the whole thing is converted into a single object. So after that I will do the extrude. So for extrude I will press E X T and after that I will press enter. Now I will select the object and press enter. Now I have to specify height of extrusion. So I will press 35 and press enter. Now you can see by clicking on the isometric view. Now you have this structure. So now for better finish, we will click on the conceptual visual style. So you have this. Now from this picture, you can see that. You have a hole here, so I have to make the hole. So I have to subtract the cylinder from the whole thing. So at first, delete, 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 and delete. So now I can select easily the whole the things. So for uh, subtract. The cylinder I have to press S U and after that I have to press enter. I have to select the whole the things and press again enter and after that I will select the cylinder and press enter. So you can see uh, the extrude has done but the cylinder is still there. So for that I have to delete the cylinder. So for that I will click on that 2D wireframe and after that I will select that cylinder and press enter and you can see the hole has created so you can see by click view and then orbit then free orbit and you can see that hole so from that picture you can see two 
holes are there so now we have to create these two holes for that I will press on the top view and press on the 2D wireframe after that I will choose the line and after that on the middle I will draw a horizontal straight line of length 20 and press enter and after that I will make a circle here of diameter 15 and after that I will extrude this so for extrude I have to press E X T and then enter and then select the object and press again enter after that I have to specify the height so I will press 16 and after that press enter so now from the isometric view you can see that so now I have to move this so I will select this and after that click the move and from the center I will move this now I will select that cylinder and after that I will choose the mirror command and after that from the middle I will click on that middle point and after that down point and after that I press enter so you can see here I have created another cylinder so I have to do the extrude again so for uh, means, uh, sorry I have to do the subtract so again I have to enter as u after that I have to press enter and I have to select the whole body after that press enter and then the object is which I have to subtract I have to choose that and after that I will press enter so you can see the hole has been created so from view to orbit then free orbit after that you can see the hole has been created so now we'll see the picture so one hole is there and two holes are there but still we have a hole on the upper part of this cylindrical part for uh, oil hole so I have to create this so for that I will click on the top view and again on the 2d wireframe and after that I will draw a line from that part to that part and after that I will make a circle of diameter 3 and after that I will repeat the circle and again make a circle of diameter 1.5 so now I have this so now I will again extrude this so I will press E X T press enter I will extrude this by uh, a length of 3 and again I will extrude so I will repeat the extrude and again I will click on the small circle and press enter and after that I will put the this extrude length uh, 13 and press enter I have put 13 because the thickness of the cylinder is 12.5 so I put 13 so that after uh, subtraction uh, the hole has been created so now I will click on the isometric view and after that you can see that point so I will move this so I will select this and move from that part to
that part and press yes and select that part and move from here to here so now we have this so a little bit i have to move this side so i'll select uh, that part and that part and after that i will move it from that point to that point and after that i will put i will press as you press enter select whole body press enter after that select this part this part and press enter now you can see the hole has been created so click on view after that orbit and then pre orbit now you can see the hole has been created so friends like that you can draw and rest to the lines you can uh, select and press delete and you can see and that part you can press enter so at last this is the view the complete view of a solid journal bearing you can click on view and after that orbit and free orbit you can see the whole things so friends like that you can draw a solid journal bearing in autocad 2007 thank you friends thank you so much for listening me with patience friends if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell button so that you can get the notifications related to my videos thank you friends